All right, so let me explain how these relays work. So what I've done is I've drawn out a little diagram here on this piece of cardboard that's going to show you how to wire up each pin. It's pretty easy to do. So let's start here, and if you look, you'll see that this is your 30 pin, which is drawn right there. Your 30 pin is your power. And so just for this demonstration, that would be the 30 pin. So I would, and just because I didn't want to bore you guys with crimping all this stuff down, so you crimp your connectors down, and that's going to connect to the positive to the battery. So that's where your 30 pin goes. Now your 85, and because I use the same color wire here, I wrap black tape around it. Your 85 is your ground. And I know it's a little bit longer, but I'm just going to go ahead and connect it to the ground piece right here. Now your 87 pin, and again, I didn't want to bore you guys here. So these are the wires that are going to go to the two headlights. Your 87 pin is going to, <coughs> excuse me, your 87 pin is going to be where the headlight wires are going to go. And then this last pin, we'll explain what's going to take place here. Your 86 pin, you're going to run that to the switch, which I have right here, inside of the cab. Now, I, I don't have another wire, but what's going to happen is from this switch, you're going to run a wire. And you're going to put a fuse here, probably like a 5 amp fuse. You're going to run that here. Now I also put right here, I did put a 30 amp fuse. You can probably do a 20 as well. When you flip this switch, what's going to take place is inside, it's going to bridge the gap between 30 and 87. So when you flip the switch, and I'll demonstrate that in the videos as we hook it up into the Jeep, there's a little piece, and I'm not an electrical guy, so to speak, but there's something that looks similar to that, and whenever it, it opens and closes, and that's what makes that click, that click, 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 and it turns it on and off. The reason why we splice these two here, because obviously you need to run one to each. Now, you're going to have to do two of these, because this one, in particular, is going to be for either the lows or the highs. So you're going to have one of these setups for the lows, one of these setups for the highs, so let me explain the prongs. There are there are three prongs in a Jeep, on the Jeep headlight. This is your ground prong. And what I did is I ended up taking the factory prong that, or the factory connector that the Jeep had and I unplugged the ground. It's a black wire on the Jeep. And I just pulled that out, put one of these connectors on it and plugged it in. And so these, this one right here, those are your low, and these are your high. And that's the same thing for over here as well. So this is going to be your factory ground that you're going to use. This is going to be your low. And then this one here, sorry I'm not the world's greatest artist, that's going to be your high beams. I guess we should, there we go. And so that's just kind of explaining the setup here on the way the relay is going to work. It's pretty easy. I mean, it looks kind of scary, and it's going to be a lot of wiring. But honestly, it's not that difficult once you understand how that works. So hopefully this is going to help you guys out here as far as how the relays are going to work. And I know there's probably other ways that you can, you can do this, but I wanted to demonstrate a setup that anybody could do. And again, you're going to have two of these. I just wanted to demonstrate one. So the way this is going to work, if this, these are actually going to be my high colors because I went with green for my lows. So I would do one for the high pin, one for the high pin. And when you flip the switch, it would be for the highs. And then you're going to do the same thing here. You're going to do a totally new one of these, except you're going to have one for the low and one for the low. But instead of running two of these wires, I actually spliced and ran one and so it looks and it's hard to see right here but I have two of these relays set up and then they're spliced off this that 30 amp fuse that way I'm not running two wires but you could run two if you wanted to but I did run two separate grounds hopefully this will help you guys understand how this is going to work